What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Stank815, and I'm back with another reaction video. Y'all new to this channel, make sure y'all smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, share, comment, get notified when I drop these videos, man. This is a reaction video. First of all, shout out to the YouTuber who made this, Hood TV. <coughs> I had to do a reaction to this video. I've been wanting to do one, but man. This has got to be crazy. It's, it's, let's see what it's about, and let's get into it. I think about death every day. In what ways? Like, I could die today, or uh, I could lose one of my dogs today, or uh, I could lose a family member today. So, check this out, guys. We all know Fulio got taken out on his birthday in Tampa, right? Well, the street's been talking, and now we've got some new details <coughs> that will make your head spin. First off, let's break down what went down that night. Fulio and his crew were out celebrating his 26th, living it up. They just moved from an Airbnb to this hotel, and Fulio even put that on his IG story. Don't mistake. Because next thing you know, bang, bang. Full party start the day at 5, 6 o'clock. You already got the address. Pull up, man. You got the address. Pull up. If you need the address, DM me right now. The full party start at 5, 6 o'clock. DM me for the address. Or DM Fulio <laughs> Bookie his pen. I'm going to put it right here. Now here's where it gets crazy. The feds just leaked some surveillance footage and it's like something straight out of a movie. Picture this. It's 4.37 in the morning. Fulio's black whip is chilling in the parking lot between a Hilton and a Holiday Inn. Out of nowhere, this <coughs> masked dude comes running up with what looks like an AR. He starts blasting at Fulio's car as they try to dip out. Y'all, it was like a war zone. The car smashed into a curb trying to escape, but that gunman wasn't playing. He got up close and personal, just firing away. When the smoke cleared, Fulio was gone, and three others in the car got hit but made it out alive. Now, here's where things get real interesting. Remember Fulio's ops, Yungin Ace? Well, he dropped not one, but two diss tracks right after Fulio got him. The first one, Do It, came out just hours after the news broke. And get this, the video showed a scene mad similar to how Fulio got taken out. In the track, Ace is spitting lines like, Bees called the phone, said they got the low, yeah. I told them do it. Now, I ain't no snitch, but that's sus as hell, right? But mm -hmm. wait, there's more? A few days later, Ace drops another track called Game Over. In this one, he's talking about getting a call at 5 in the morning about somebody dead on the floor. He even mentions four in the car, and one of them did. Three got hit. Sound familiar? Now, I know what y'all thinking. Is Ace really out here admitting to putting a hit on Fulio? Well, that's what got people buzzing. Some fans are convinced Ace is the mastermind behind the whole thing, hiring them gunmen to do his dirty work. But hold up. We got to remember, this beef between Ace and Fulio goes way back. We're talking years of bad blood, starting with Fulio's cousin getting back in 2017. Then, in 2018, Ace's brother and two homies got taken out, and Ace barely made it out alive after getting hit eight times. It's been a back and forth ever since. Now, here's where it gets real interesting. This big-time criminal lawyer, Bruce Rivers, is saying Ace's new tracks could be used as evidence in the Fulio case. I could see that. about how their lyrics could link Ace to the hit, and yeah. maybe even lead to charges. It's like Young Thug and YNW yeah. Melly all over again with their bars being used against them in court. But here's the wildest part of all this. Julio's Instagram is still active. I'm talking new posts, comments, the whole nine. At first, folks thought it was just his team keeping his memory alive, but then things got weird. The account started commenting on Ace's diss tracks and even dropped a comment on a blurry pic of Fulio's alleged killer. Y'all remember that No Jumper interview Fulio did last year? He was all like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm a demigod. You can't get me. Well, his IG account commented demigod with a purple demon emoji on that killer's pic. It's like Fulio's ghost is out here still beefing from the afterlife. Now, 
I know this all sounds wild, but the cops ain't playing around. The Tampa police chief is out here promising arrests real soon. And over in Jacksonville, Sheriff T.K. Waters is warning folks not to try any revenge hits. He's saying they're going to keep the streets on lock and won't tolerate no more violence. And just when we thought we had all the pieces, a new video drops that's got everyone shook. Yeah, this Check this out. Some dude in a ski mask and an orange beanie just popped up on social media. Media, claiming he's the one who took out Fulio. This masked man is straight up saying he bagged Fulio for 10K. That's right. He's talking about a $10,000 bounty on Fulio's head. And get this. He's saying it was Young Gene Ace who put up the cash. Hey, on everything I love, bro. On the day home, bro. I put it on everything on my soul, on my kid, nigga. I'm the one that smacked Fulio, Fulio that night when he got dropped at the birthday celebration, bro. You feel me? I ain't gonna show my face and do my identity away or nothing like that, but you know, <laughs> I did that, you feel me? You know, money on his head, you feel me? I rock, I rock with Ace and them boys, you feel me? ATK, you feel me? I be in Jacksonville heavy, you feel me? If you know, you know. But yeah, you feel me? I did that, you feel me? I handled that because, you know, Ace had that money on his head, you know, Ace had to put that 10K up. Told me to slide, told me to smack food, because you know you got tired of that money in his mouth playing all the time, you feel me? So, it had to be done, it had to be done, you feel what I'm saying? So, I just handled it, you feel me? It is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, bro, like, <coughs> my dad money, anybody can get it, you feel me? And, you know, Fulio had it coming to him, so, you know, I don't really feel sorry, you feel me? A lot of people think that, you know, it was on some game. You know, and all that, like, it ain't really all that, you feel me, like, you know, just, you feel me, Ace put that bread up, you feel me, and whoever wanted to take it, take it, so I took that, you feel me, so, rest in peace, Fulio. So what's the real deal? <laughs> Did Ace put out the hit on Fulio? Oh my God. Is Fulio's spirit really out here commenting from the grave? Or is this all just some crazy coincidence? One thing's for sure, this case is far from over. The streets are watching, the cops are investigating, and everybody's waiting to see what's going to happen next. Will Ace's lyrics come back to bite him? Will Fulio's story ever be caught? And who the hell is running that Instagram account? And the comments section is crazy, y'all. One fan straight up called it like they see it. This was clearly a setup. Ain't yeah. no way. Yeah. MF's got to learn to stop bringing BS and be recording everything, especially if you're a Igga in the streets. Yo, they ain't holding back. This person's basically saying Fulio got caught slipping by oversharing on social media. True. It's like, come that's on now, true. if you in the game, you got to move different. Posting your location, that's a rookie move. And yeah. some folks think it cost Fulio his life. Yeah. But hold up, it ain't just the fans throwing shade. Check this comment. Yeah. Fans are saying to themselves, it can't be this easy. Damn, that's cold. This person's implying the feds are probably laughing at how these rappers are basically snitching on themselves. Mm -hmm. Between Fulio's IG posts and Ace's lyrics, it's like they're handing over evidence on a silver platter. So, what do y'all think? Is Ace behind all this, or is he just capitalizing on his rival's death? And what about that Instagram account? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because this conversation is just getting started. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe <laughs> button to stay up to date with the latest drama in the hip-hop world. Man, let me give y'all my opinion. This is just my opinion. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's my opinion, y'all. First off, this person claiming to have did that to Julio. <laughs> I don't believe that. Clout chaser. First of all, that's just my opinion. I think it's somebody that's want to see young Ace get locked up. I believe it's really somebody that messed with Julio. If you ask my opinion, you're not going to be that dumb enough. I mean, people is dumb, but come on, bro. The way he talking and y'all put it all together, look into it. Come on, man. That's somebody that rock with Fulio trying to get Ace locked up, in my opinion. Man, you got to be more smarter than that. I believe Fulio did cause his own death. You know, R.I.P. to Fulio, but, you know, sometimes you got to be smarter. You got to know when to drop your location or when not to drop your location. And plus, if you do drop your location, you got to have... Higher security, higher higher private security to be with you at 
your pool party or your parties or wherever you at. I got homies that's famous and they got higher security to make sure they good. Come on, man. You got to think smarter. R.I.P. Fulio, I believe that guy. Wolfing, I don't believe he the one that actually did that to Fulio. But y'all hit the comment section. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation. I really, I can't wait to hear from y'all.